Hi, my name is Sylvie Ledoux. Welcome to Eras. The world of fantasy is unlimited and full of surprises. Among those surprises are novels written by Nancy Kilpatrick. This Canadian author specializes in erotic vampires. <laughs> In the club space, too, people are also, it's a very sensual, erotic space. People are, are dancing for so long, they are melting <laughs> out onto the dance floor. And for me, I want to be a, a, part, a part of that also. And people are, you know, there's so much flesh everywhere. People are sweating, people are dripping. There's, uh, it's a very sexual world. <laughs> presented in theaters where people are sitting down and people are on stage and there's a separation of space of observer and performer. So our idea for this event was kind of to break that wall and to bring people into another dimension where the public is not only observers but they're also participants by being on the dance floor with us in the event like at a club where people are there to move and respond to the music just as we would move and respond to the music to kind of celebrate that we're all dancers, we all move. I like choosing a costume that kind of brings me into a different kind of character a different way of uh, representing myself and creating fantasy characters. I think it's in important to, to give people an illusion of delight <laughs> that they can kind of watch and be fascinated with. I think costumes are able to transform a personality. So, and, I like to sh and I like to choose clothes that are very, very sensual and reflective of my personality. <laughs> A lot of my work has been in clubs. I'm also a professional dancer and an acrobat. I've been working in the professional dance milieu for the last 10 years. But over the last uh, six months or so, I've been starting to work in clubs, doing my own performances with a circle trapeze. My movement uh, developed even how like, the body naturally responds to that apparatus as a circle. There are so many different ways that your body will sway and fall and, and in that space. I find that I do a lot of like surrender moves and a lot of power moves to be able to do any positioning within that space. There's a contradiction in terms of, of how my body will physically move in that space. And from, from the physical movement research that I do, I will usually try to um, visualize, creatively imagine a different character that I would like to personify because then it enables me to kind of be able to communicate things to people in a, in a different way than strictly straight up a movement choreography it allows me to represent something for people. And I like to represent something that is sexually exposing. <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs> Later in the show, Christopher Hall will introduce us to the delights of discovering some often neglected body parts. But first, Dr. Mark Rava will tell us about the risk of cyber sex. Modern dance is presented in theaters where people are sitting down and people are on stage and there's a separation of space of observer and performer. So our idea for this event was kind of to break that wall and to bring people into another dimension where 
the public is not only observers, but they're also participants by being on the dance floor with us in the event, like at a club where people are there to move and respond to the music, just as we would move and respond to the music. We kind of celebrate that we're all dancers, we all move. A lot of my work has been in clubs. I'm also a professional dancer and an acrobat. I've been working in the professional dance milieu for the last 10 years. But over the last uh, six months or so, I've been starting to work in clubs doing my own performances with a circle trapeze. My movement uh, developed even how like, the body naturally responds to that apparatus as a circle. There are so many different ways that your body will sway and fall and, and in that space. I find that I do a lot of like surrender moves and a lot of power moves to be able to do any positioning within that space. There's a contradiction in terms of, of how my body will physically move in that space. And from, from the physical movement research that I do, I'll usually try to uh, visualize, creatively imagine a different character that I would like to personify because then it enables me to kind of be able to communicate things to people in a, in a different way than strictly straight up a movement choreography it allows me to represent something for people. And I like to represent something that is sexually exposing. <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs>